Brix 5D here with a new update for the Noob to Pro account. We are on day 48 of this new account we started about a month ago and we are currently progressing for the purpose of getting the Abita missions all completed and gaining that champion. That's the sole purpose of this account and why we are pushing forward to it. Right now, I want to give a brief update of what we've been up to in the account and a lot of things that are happening in raid if you're not aware the portal is on it's not for a double chance it's for a 10x so we are not interested in 10x events on this account we are looking for a 2x chance of getting a legendary epic or whatever that's when we pull our shards we're sitting in still three sacred shards and this weekend you don't want to miss that video this weekend it will be awesome for this noob to pro because it will give us an opportunity to get a new epic champion I didn't say a legendary champion because we don't, we don't want to raise our hopes too high. We want a new epic champion on the account from the sacred shards that we will pull. So make sure you subscribe and like and so that you'll be notified when we post that new shard pool video. Of course, I'll be pulling on my main account where I have over 11 sacred shards waiting to be pulled. So it will be an awesome shard pool videos. I live for those moments. You know, that's what this channel is built on. Free to play shard pool videos on days that make sense, not on this 10x that makes absolutely no sense. The champion that is being advertised for the 10x CCR is an awesome champion, but the chances of you getting her is slim because if you do pull your shards, you are bound to get a bunch of other legendaries. It's, it's like a 20x or 30x before we we'll begin to get the 10x champions. That's what everybody is saying in the community. Raid should in increase their 10x chance because when we pull our shards and we get the legendary champion and it is not the 10x champion, Remember what happened to our last shard video? Yeah, we pull three legendary champions. None of them was a 10x champions for it. So I remember that very well. 10x is not a cup of tea. If you are paid to win, sure, you can pull your shards on a 10x and that will be fine. So on the Noob to Pro, the last update we gave to you was our high cartoon. We managed to, we managed to build a high cartoon to become our speed lead in arena. Mostly because the arena missions or the habitat missions require us to reach gold one that is the mission that a lot of people get stuck on so for me to prepare towards that mission i did take high cartoon to 60 and i did give her a total of how many speed do we currently have on her right now 246 speed on a high cartoon it's crazy i know so she's currently my fastest champion in the team of course and she was going first we are placing the decrease defense from war maiden we are looking with our kill but the enemies are not dying. Like most of them survive or are hit and then they retaliate. And then we go down. So we decided to up our damage a little bit by including a Seeker. So now it's um, High Cartoon Boost, Seeker Boost, War Maiden, Decrease Defense, and then Kale can look for twice the um, attack because of this, this ability from Seeker that boosts the attack. Where is it? Increase attack by 50%. Places increase attack by 50%. So that's why we have Seeker on the team. It's currently a f level 50 Seeker. So the question is, do we need to push Seeker to 60? Currently, I have 5 five star ready to go to 60. 5 star food ready to go to 60. If you've not seen the new build for Seeker, let me show you because it's always awesome to watch it happen live on these videos when I do it. I'll fight a team that is a little bit stronger than me. I'm looking for a team that has a speed booster so they can also boost. I feel like this team will nook me. I'm afraid of score crowns because of their unkillable. Um, this looks like a normal team, right? This looks like a team that is equal to mine, although they have 95 power. So let's try this team. On auto, I did take out my Molly Tank card for Seeker. You know, Molly provided that added security by provoking the enemy team to make sure they use only their A1s. But with Sika, they still get to use all their skills. So we go first. They cut into us. We still boost. And then War Maiden. And then, oh, 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 can we nook? Yes. And then they revive. Can they revive? Can we let this person revive? Yes, they did revive. So we are still kind of nuking the waves, but few tanky champions do survive. As you see, the Agogorab is kind of tanky in that team. So yes, he did survive. Let's go for this provoke so he doesn't do his freeze on, on us in the waves. Let's slow down. Whoop. 
Sika is too low. Sika, Sika is too low HP, so we almost died there. How come my nook is not back up? Damn, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Ouch. We almost had this one. So I'm still losing a lot of battles. That's what I wanted to show. Although we have all the speed now, we have all the attack to nuke them. I'm still losing a lot of battles. By now, I try to reach up to half point in um, gold one. And I still fall back to almost the beginning of um, silver four. So we need to stop losing battles if we want to really, really hit gold one. Because I try to select teams that I know I can beat. And I'm sure I could beat this team. It's just that Gogorab decided to revive them and all that. So on my defense, because this also helps in boosting me. If you check out our def defensive log, you can see we are currently winning battles. So this, I hope this will boost us along. Let's just stop losing too much battles and maybe let the defense... People hit my defense and then nuke themselves with my comp. So we are winning a lot of battles, more than we are actually losing in the defense. I recently changed to Sika from, so these are new wins from an hour ago. So that's what we are currently working on. Can I do a refresh and see if we can find another team? Because we should do, find a win. I want one of those ones where we can just hit them all down and celebrate a victory you can see the roster is not looking friendly a lot of people are using legendary champions while i'm still using high cartoon and sika and a kill so by the time you get to see that one the the roster is looking a little bit paid to win people are kind of this is a squishy squishy team i don't see anybody who will survive my nook here let me go for this team they have 103 this last dwarf dude might survive the nook though i know that if the their first champion there, the Shadow King guy, will die at with my nook. Hopefully there's no revive or there's no shield on them. No shield, no revive, okay. He's even provoked, so he can't even do me do me anything. And boom. That's how it's supposed to go. Normally. Zagala is a problem though. Wait, 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 wait. You don't want to play with Zagala because you can take your entire team down. Okay, we did win this one. So, I'm considering something. Do we need to regear our kill to be a little bit of more crit damage to nuke the waves further? Or will this be fine to help us to reach gold one? Because we can rely on the defense and only fight easy teams to get to gold one. So, by the next video you see tomorrow on the Noob to Pro update, I'm hoping we do reach gold one because cvc is on right now and cvc produce a lot of arena tokens you know it gives us a lot of arena tokens for us to use hopefully i don't waste all those arena tokens and just you know end up still at the bottom of silver four and that's the main update for this video arena um gold one progression that we are up to since cvc is on we have about 394 silver medals we are currently going to spend it on crit damage because we want more damage for our kill right now. You might say, what of accuracy? Because originally we wanted to build accuracy for the clan boss. But it seems like we have to wait because we don't have enough damage for this kill. So let me know if you guys think it would be wise for me to rebuild my kill. That will cost silver. It will... We just use the LH tool and look for the best gear again and regear our kill. Crit damage kill will also work in the campaign because he'll be nuking the waves in one shot. So I think that will be the option for us to go. So if I should put crit damage into this, I have just six more points to go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Can we find a team to beat before this video ends? How many points do we get per win here? How many um, bars? Is that three? We got three bars. So I need to win two battles for me to upgrade that great hall for crit damage. Can I fight this team? They have 88. This is kind of squishy though. But anything that has Gogorab means they will revive. 
So that's my fear that they will revive. And when they revive, I might not be able to withstand their damage. Also, let me know. People did say Gogorab does not, I mean, Sika does not perform well with his increased defense when he's not in the lead. I know that. So, but we need speed to go first. This is not a go second team by any means. We will not survive their hits. So, do we put Gogorab first instead like this? So, we can withstand their hits a little bit? Or you think speed should be the priority? You guys know best because I don't use these champions. I'm just trying it out for the first time, trying to reach my gold one and be done with it. I don't use these two boosters. I didn't really use them in my early game of the of playing. Do we risk this one because we are looking for six more points on the Great Hall? This is what I'm talking about. If you're not 100% or 50% sure you can beat the team, I don't think I should have even started that battle because if I doubt myself, there's a high chance there will prevail over me of course i'm faster decrease defense i have provoked their nuka can i nuke everybody gogorab survived so that's the problem i face i cannot nuke st still nuke gogorabs because of um i'm frozen let me take a turn guys come on they're healing uh oh see trust your instincts if the battle seems like you cannot win it don't even start it that's how you get to gold one so i'll take my own advice i'll stop trying to beat teams that i'm you know 50 50 percent on defense with and only refresh when i see easy teams and i beat them like this one i was like 90 percent sure i could take them down this team because i knew they were squishy so i was 90 percent sure i'll try to stay away from gogorab teams who are high hp high defense and a little bit slower than me so that's the update for the arena that's the main update i'll try to get those two last points and boost up my crit damage instead of my accuracy um what else can we share on the account yes let's head over to the champions selection and try to decide if we really really want to 60 a seeker right now or do we wait till this weekend to find out who we can seek you who can assist you now bear in mind i do have one two three four five right five food ready to go to a seeker the choices are between a seeker who is good for the arena right now for gold one progression or a nazana who we are hoping to build a clan boss team right after we are done with this whole gold one issue because remember clan boss is also important for progression so i'm talking about brutal we're about to push brutal so we focused on the arena first because of these missions and after we are done with the arena gold one mission we will then switch our focus back to the clan boss which is very very important you know the clan boss building a team for the clan boss also means you're building a team for the um dragon also which will push us past dragon 16 where we are currently farming so that's my plan arena team all set clan boss team is next so she is the next six star but do we 60 her now when we don't need her for the clan boss? Or do we 60 um, seek her right now so he can quit dying so fast and get a, maybe a faster speed on him and uh, get some of his stats boosted from being level 60? Or even farm the Minotaur grind to give him some, um, what do you call it? Some Mino scrolls. Right now, I, I did put some scrolls on beginner scrolls on high cartoon that's all i wanted to give her for the just a little bit more accuracy to land that her skill so maybe i'll do the same for sika but right now he's not 60. so let me know guys i'm sure if you leave it in the comments i'll do it off video but i didn't want to do it right now because there is no champ training going on is there a champ training going on for cvc but we're kind of losing the cvc so i don't know if I really want to 60 a champion right now for CVC. Mostly because there is no personal rewards in this CVC. And you know, the CVC that gets the personal rewards is the one that people put all their resources into. If there is no personal rewards to claim for this CVC, it's kind of, should I really be using all my books? Can't we just coast through and get our highest milestone and chill? Why spend all your resources on a CVC that doesn't have personal rewards. That's the thoughts. That's where I'm thinking towards why I should wait. And also check this out. We have a legendary skill tone book that we could use over here. Just one legendary skill tone. 
we do have epic books that we can use all for cvc but will this help us win the cvc what if i spend all these resources and we still lose the cvc <laughs> then i don't have it available for the next cvc that has personal rewards you see what i'm thinking i'm thinking save now for the next cvc so we go harder on the next one and win that one for sure but hey i might just go ahead and do it I wanted to do it in this video, but I'm still, you know how indecisive I, I can be with these videos. So right now I'm itching to just hit this and select Sika because part of the reason why I'm losing these battles is because I'm not fully booked in terms of my cooldowns and my, well, it doesn't really benefit from anything. My provoke doesn't even land 100, 50% of the time because I've not booked the A1. But Sika is the next person I would book because it's currently being used for a mission. Hi Cartoon has gotten her required book, which is this one. That's all I really needed for her. So in terms of epics that I can spend on, I think Sika would be a wise option. So let's go ahead and boot Sika. At least that one I can be sure to do it. Unless we just want it to land on this one, we'll use only two books, right? But I need that provoke because remember he does the increased attack and then he provokes. So I do want the provoke to land. And take out one of their enemies kill out of the battle did we land on every one of them ah almost did we get this one too yes we got this one so this one will be on a three ton cooldown although arena battles right now don't last for three tons but hey by the time i get into 60 which i was indecisive about so let's 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 do it let's do it remember we are walking towards the habitat missions right we want to get this done as fast as possible. So let's not sit here and play Wait Shadow Legends. Let's play Raid Shadow Legends. That's the decision behind me going right now to 60 Seeker. Because he was the best option amongst all of them. It's either him or Nazana. And he is high priority right now over Nazana. Of course, don't ever use your legendary skill tome on these champions. And will this help him in any way? I guess... Why not? Just push him, push him, push him put to the highest limit. And then maybe by the time we post tomorrow's video, we'll be winning all our battles because Sika is 60 and he doesn't die anymore. Also, I think I need to 60 high cartoon because she's been in 30, 39 for days and I've been kind of stingy to run her through campaign. You know, that's the best way to take your champion to 60 in campaign. But I didn't want to do that because I was leveling food. But hey, I might run Sika and High Cartoon in the Mino and let them use some gems. Yes, use gems to get their sc scrolls maximum and then so they can perform better. I might do that tonight because I really need to get that gold one mission done ASAP so we don't spend three, four days on it. We are fast. We are trying to get the habitat quick. So let's just go right ahead with it. And... The other champions, you know, on the roster are still chilling. This champion would have been helpful for those increased crit damage. For, but Kale doesn't even have enough crit damage that you want to increase right now. But hey, one day we'll bring her into the battle. So those are my two options. Those are my two guys right now. Seeker, High Cartoon, trying to push to Gold 1. If you're also in the same Abita missions and you're trying to push towards that mission, now you know how I'm going about it. My champions are not really speed tuned but i made sure kale doesn't go first before any of them and you can see the speeds are very high because i've been farming the dragon 16 and i think that's about all the updates i do have i have one more update though doom tower the last rotation we were not even able to beat doom tower level 10 but in this rotation yes we are farming this boss like crazy you can see i've used all my keys for the day I could not be this boss because you need a cleanse. You say, like, yes, but you have a spirit host. Spirit host does not survive here. She's level 50. She can cleanse the first wave of poisons. But then when we start hitting the boss and we get the second wave of poisons, everything just goes bad. So we are not re ready to take on Agret. I think that's the name of this boss, right? I forget. Nether Spider. I think it's Agret. Yes, I did post a video showing how I beat Doom Tower had um, the first... 10, 20, or 30 stages yesterday if you did see that video. So, yes, we are trying to do only normal on this and I've been farming this to get some... What does it even drop? The drops we are using for forging... 
I don't think we are getting anything from the Forge either. We're still getting three star, four star items from the Forge, see? So I'm not that excited about these items I'm getting right now from the Forge. Check out, not even a four to five star artifacts. These are what we are getting right now. So it would have been nice if we can go to higher levels, but we can't. Wait. Nah, this is still three star, four star artifacts. And I'm not interested in three star, four star right now in this level account. We are looking for five star and above artifacts. So I will, I will use all this forge material just for CVC with RSL helper, of course, and put it on auto so it can forge everything for me and give me those CVC points. And that's how we we'll help our team. Plus the mission we just did right now, the champion to 60, I think this should boost us a little bit up. Ooh, I'm 18K in CVC points right now. I'm second place. Yes. So that's kind of impressive. If we keep pushing, we still have one more day. We might beat these guys if they've used all their resources. Who knows? Anyway, so I'll be farming Mino. I'll not push for the next 60 before this weekend comes around for the next 2x secret event. I will have another five stars ready. So do not worry. You know, I farm a lot in these accounts, even when I don't post an update for you guys is because i'm in the campaign farming five stars for the next level 60 that's the best way to beat this game whenever you're confused what to do just go farm five stars they are not ever a waste because i just used it right now on a seeker who will be useful for this account forever for the long run whether you want to build him for a clan boss later if it doesn't fall into your arena teams anymore so let's see if we have one more team to shine with oh we have a level one seeker now so he will not be useful anymore let's see if we can put some points into him he's currently because when you level up a champion they go back to little or no <laughs> hp see 10k be 20k hp he's done so let's see if we can put some bruise into him so we don't start losing battles just because we took him to 60. So it's currently 32, 35. So I guess he'll be a little bit useful now. More defense, more attack. But this doesn't affect his speed, I hope. His base speed has increased. It was about 96, I think, before the upgrade to 60. But now it's 103. So he'll be a total of 197 speed on the Seeker. Most people will say, put all your best speed artifacts on your Seeker. Don't put it on your high cartoon. She can still be the lead. She could be the second speed lead. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm not quite experienced. I use an Arbiter on my main account. So I didn't really... I used the Gogorab when I was a new player before I got an Arbiter. So I don't know the dynamics between Sika and... It's a debate that never ends. Sika should be your first because he can take hits and defend your team. Or high cartoon should be your first because you want to run a blender comp and you don't care about surviving. You just want to nook everybody down so maybe when i take his artifacts to 16 too he should survive longer because right now he just get targeted and he goes down high cartoon is currently close to 16 in all our artifacts that's why she is doing so much damage as you can see and she doesn't have enough i do have a ring i can put on her right now though yes equipped i got this ring from you know where this ring that counter attacks when you're hit i got it from let me show you what i did the clan quest for the clan quest when we whenever we see that mission that says place 10 poisons on the dragon we immediately take that mission and we get the uh, clan gold so this time i take this one that says sell 5000 silver i think by the end of how many days do we have six days i might have sold 5000 silver and clock completed this for a 350 points so what i said is i got the artifact from this and we'll be buying these ones right now because i had a lot of energy usually i buy energy from here to farm more five stars but right now we have enough five stars so i started spending the the clan gold on accessories because we've not started farming the spider we're still waiting for those habitat missions that want us to go into the spider that's when we we'll go there and take the spider for a for a run so now i got my uh, go, uh, what is his name seeker to a little bit of a higher hp let's take another run through and see if we can beat some teams and stop losing battles now you might say okay let's fight this team but can draw phone this this champion is a problem number one 
it's force affinity, which means my kill might not be able to look, nuke this champion in a first hit. And that's a level 50 high cartoon. That means I'm definitely faster. But then a Draco might place decreased defense and weaken on me. That means this card of phone will nuke my entire team in one hit. So they don't have a revive though. So this is a win for me. They don't have a revive. I might get a weak hit on Candlephone because she will place a veil at the start of the turn, I think. But I'm sure to beat their kill. I'm sure to kill their high cartoon. So let's see how this battle goes. My predictions are in. Boosts, decreased defense, and see, I told you Candlephone will survive. I told you this champion will survive. <laughs> So, but because she's level 50, I survived this time. Normally, if a Kandrafron survives your hit and then takes a hit back, you will die. So, you see, I can predict what is happening because of my experience with so many arena battles. And I can know which teams I will beat successfully and which one I will lose to. So, this team looks like a team I will beat. Because they don't have a reviver. And their new car is squishy. Dark Elhane is a very squishy. Also... Elhain is also squishy. They are both 60s, but I can nook them. But once I take two of them out, the battle is mine. I'm not sure of who that other champion is, though. Hopefully, it's not a reviver or a shield champion. They have a Minaya in the lead. That means they might be faster than me. Minaya has 24 speed, I think. Ooh, they have a shield. I hate shields. I don't have the mastery on my kill that does more damage if the champions do have shield. That's a Minaya. And she does the healing. Can we still get this? Ooh, I have my defense on. Yes. That's their nuke. I survived the nuke. Can I? I don't have my nuke ready. So I still can win this battle. Yeah, I don't have my nuke ready. I can't win this battle. My nook is still on the one turn cooldown. No, 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 no. So what made them win this one was a shield. So yes. So anyways, I'll keep fighting one, keep losing two, keep fighting. Hopefully when I take all my champions to 60, take all the artifacts to 16, I can get higher win rates and we can get this gold one done by the new video you see tomorrow on the channel. Let me know if any tips you guys got for me to reach gold one faster. Because as you can see, it's not going so well because of these teams are hard to beat. Just for the sake of the video, let's go for one more run before we end it. This has a shield team, so I'm not gonna fight it. When I see a when I see a miscreated, I know it has a shield. This one, you can nook a Rotos in one hit, so that's a bad idea. He will block revive on one of your champions. So I'll take my advice and not take any risks right now. I don't see any teams I can beat. So that means I will wait for the next refresh. So anyways, that's been this video for the today. Noob to Pro. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new update on the channel. Like and subscribe. Good night, guys.